Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to do a different kind of video. A lot of us are upset with Maybelline's Fit Me foundation. And so I know that there is a matte and poreless one and then there's also a dewy and smooth finish. So I have both and I decided to do half my face with matte, half my face with dewy. That way you guys can see how number one, they both apply, how they set and how they last throughout the day. So yes, I thought this would be a very informing video to so some of us who are kind of changing in our normal to oily skin or normal to dry skin. Um, we can have some knowledge and variety on what works best for us. Alrighty, I have used Mount Poreless numerous of times and I have used the Dewy and Smooth one once and it was yesterday. And I honestly like both. Um, definitely I know more about the matte and poreless because I've been using that like I said for years. And then the Dewy and Smooth I've only used once and I do always set my foundation. I never not set my foundation. So I will be setting my foundation, both foundations. I'll be setting my whole face. So yeah, let's get started. Um, let's see, on this side, I'm gonna go ahead and do the matte and coilless, and then on this side, I'm going to do dewy and smooth. All right, I'm gonna start with the left side and do the matte side. And what I like to do, I like to put it in the back of my hand, dot it. And by the way, I already primed and all that good stuff. Moisturize and prime my face. So yeah, this is it. This is how you go out. No, I'm kidding. Now I'm going to take my damped uh, beauty sponge and I'm going to go ahead and dab that in. I know some people like going in with a, uh, a brush and stuff, but... I love my sponge. So I'm I'm pushing it in. All right, and that is the matte and poreless side. This is great for days like, you know, summer and spring here in Florida where it's nasty out and you get all greasy. And it definite, this is definitely a medium coverage, but you can definitely make this a full coverage foundation for sure. All right, now that I've done the matte and, pour, matte and poreless side, let's go ahead and do the dewy and smooth look. And again, apply that on the back of my hand. This one's definitely more liquidy than the other one. And by the way, the matte and poreless one is 125 and this one is 120 because I can't read. So I'll be fixing that too. With bronzing, of course. Can't forget the neck, ladies. We dab that in. By the way, the matte and poreless side is shade 125. This dewy and smooth side that I'm dabbing in now is 120. This one is definitely a medium coverage. I feel like you get more coverage with the matte and poreless. Look, look at my cheek compared to that. You get more coverage. I really like dewy finishes. I like changing things up. And like I said, my skin has been really dry lately. So yeah, I'm gonna grab the excess that's on the back and try to make that 
this more. Okay, so this is the dewy and smooth side. As you can see, it's definitely dewy. And then this is the matte and poreless. Definitely you have more shine on this side here, there. I'm going to give it about hmm, two minutes and I'll come back and show you how it sets and then I'll do the rest of my makeup and we'll go from there. But I'll be back in two minutes and see how they both set. Okay, it's been about two and a half, three minutes and the matte and poreless kind of feels like it's set. The dewy and smooth, I feel like can still needs time to set, but I ain't got time like that. So I'm going to go ahead and set both foundations with my NYX HD Studio Colorless Powder. I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, and then I'll be back and show you guys how it looks with contour and blush and concealer. Alrighty. Alright, so I did the rest of my makeup. I did my contour, of course, concealer. Put a little bit of just uh, neutral eyeshadow on. And, of course, I put this lip on. This side right here is our matte and poreless. And for the sake of this video, I didn't put any highlighter on because I feel like that just makes everywhere everywhere look shiny. And I didn't want to kind of uh, make it look dewy everywhere. But yeah, this is the matte and poreless side. And this is the dewy and smooth side. Okay, so from the camera, I can see that you can tell this is more dewy and it's more... more uh, yeah, like I said, more shiny, more dewy right here. And this side is definitely more matte. You don't get that more of a shine. From up close in the mirror, I can definitely notice that this has more coverage than this side. So here are my pros for mattes. I love that it is easy to apply. It sets fast and... Like I said, it's buildable, so you can add more layers and make it fuller. Or if you want to go for more of a lighter, you can just put a little bit on. Um, my pros for the dewy and smooth. It's um, At the beginning, it gave you a really nice dewy like glow and beautiful finish. I set all of it, like I said, with colorless powder. And they both look the same however this side i had to keep applying more to give it to the to get it to the same coverage as this it's like more liquidy you have to kind of work with it more if you want to cover like i said you know scar tissue i have scar here scars here from when i had chicken pox and pimple scars and um i had to kind of like keep applying more and more to give as good coverage as this um, after setting it though, I feel like they both feel the same. They both feel the same. They both kind of look the same. This one is just a little bit more dewy. So, my thing is, if you have normal skin, go with the matte and poreless. If you want more of a uh, full coverage makeup, something that you can build to full coverage. If you have really, really dry skin, definitely don't do matte and poreless because I can see here that it is giving me dry patches like I said I have some weird dry oily I have combo skin to be honest and I can see that it's giving me dry patches on the areas that I go dry but so if you have dry skin go with the dewy and smooth side if you have really greasy stay away from this dewy because it's hit it literally took about 10 minutes to set and I couldn't wait anymore I had a set powder I even talked to my sister I was waiting for it to and nothing so this one takes a long time to set I use dewy and smooth if you have dry skin because matte and poreless can definitely cling onto your skin and give you dry patches all in all I'm gonna use use both of them um by the way this is 120 this is 125 I really didn't see a color difference maybe when I edit I'll see something else but um yeah I really like both both I love the fit me formula it is really really good it is very easy to use very lightweight and also the dewy and smooth skin has sunscreen spf of 18 which i kind of wish the matte and poreless had but um that's a def definitely definitely a plus especially here in florida with the weather um so yeah the dewy and smooth has spf 18 the matte and poreless you know really really 
sets and it's buildable so it's up to you it's up to your skin i have oily combo skin like i said i'm gonna use them both i really like both they both have their own pros and cons but i wanted to show you both and hopefully this video is helpful if you liked it please give it a thumbs up share subscribe and i'll see you later bye